What's up guys? So I just made it to the Niagara Falls State Park. After about say nine on uh, nine and a half hours of drive from Stamford, Connecticut, where I live. It was an amazing drive. Really smooth roads and the scenery was pretty amazing. <laughs> So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the Niagara Scenic Trolley. Uh, so I'm hoping that this will take me to some really good view points. Uh, so this is the trolley and so one of them is covered and one of them is open. So whatever you prefer, it's really cold but then I want to get some really good footage. So I'm going in the one which is not covered. So the trolley ride is pretty amazing actually. I would definitely recommend. I'm only at the first stop, actually it has four stops in total. I'm at the cave of the winds. So I'm not going into the cave of the winds right now. I haven't taken the pass or say ticket for that one. But this is the place from where you can go down uh, the stairs and you can have an amazing view of the waterfalls. So I'm gonna catch the first glimpse of the falls. And I can straight away see a rainbow forming with all the water droplets and the water is just flying around everywhere which is also making it slightly even colder and on my left I think is Canada and yeah and the part where I am is obviously US actually pretty amazing and really uh, beautiful out here uh, but one thing that you need to like uh, remember is that you are kind of behind the fall so the fall is right behind me it is falling right there and uh, at least on the US side you can't see really the front of it unless you go downstairs which I am planning to go then you can see the at least from one side you can see the waterfalls otherwise what you are seeing right now at least which you will see in the footage as well that you are slightly behind the, the fall itself so you don't get to see the full view so I would say the Canadian side is pretty lucky on that part I guess because they can see the fall actually like from front or front angle so if you want to go downstairs and have a better look at the waterfalls you need to take the tickets uh, to the cave of the winds that is ten dollars for an adult uh, sorry fourteen dollars for an adult and ten for kids <coughs> so that is what i've done uh, so there's a show as well and there's this <coughs> small museum here uh, which talks about how the falls has been used to create electricity i guess and also they've listed out all the point of interest and the number of bridges that are over here so that is again pretty interesting as well so if you're interested in that part of history that is covered here and also uh, the movies there uh, which i'm gonna go in so let's see how that is so the movie was pretty interesting actually it was all about how the Niagara Falls State Park came into being and how they were able to save the falls basically from how companies that were surrounding this area because they were obviously dumping uh, waste in the water and stuff like so that. So pretty interesting and that is how you also get your segue to going downstairs and have a better look at the falls. So this is actually pretty epic. I am right in front of the waterfalls and water is just flying around everywhere. So definitely much much better experience compared to when you are at the top. The view at the top is also amazing but this is just amazing. The volume of water that you see over here is just crazy. Kind of scary too just to look at. Right 
first time at the next point which is the turban point i you can just walk uh, to the next point actually you don't really need to come by and take the trolley so this was pretty easy and this is actually pretty amazing you can see the entire fall from here almost really amazing and huge And from the Therapin point we were off to the next stop called the Three Sisters. I also made it to the third stop which are the three islands. So there are three bridges which are connecting to the three islands. This is actually like I think the best part uh, with the sun just setting down on the leaves which are on the floor right now. It's a fall on the floor, just the fall effect, and you're surrounded by water all around the water. This is really amazing, really pretty, and it's pretty calm actually because you are kind of far away from the falls. The water is just flowing like normally, so it's pretty calming actually for me. And there are just amazing views all around. Any direction you look at, it's just stunning. And with the last stop done, it was time to call for an end to this amazing day. So do like the video and subscribe to the channel as I leave you with this glimpse of Niagara Falls.